Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. My name is Kings Reaper and this is yet another episode of playthrough of Escape from Tarkov. Now in the last episode we ended up going into a raid on Factory but unfortunately we were not successful so this time I had to pick up another gear set and I was determined to go back into the Factory which I hate so much. But anyway I needed to do the quest for Prapor so I quickly scrooped up some gear and went inside. Unfortunately, I hated myself, I hated my life, because I hated factory so, so much. And of course, the factory, as it is, a close quarter battle map, yeah, it just doesn't work every time. So I spawned immediately and heard someone already. And this was already second time to just get killed, not complete the quest. Oh lord, I hate the factory so much, but I had to do it. I had to go in, I had to get the quest done. But I was already so pissed with this map and my luck. So this time I decided to pick up just one gun and go full nuts on this next raid. I would just run and run and kill and I wouldn't care if I die again because nothing else worked. Oh, hello. Give me the letter. Dude, give me the letter. Give me a goddamn letter! Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thing. So yeah, after finally getting that quest item that I needed, I just didn't want to loot anything more. Even though there was still bodies to loot, I just went out, successfully extracted. Thank Lord for the factory key. So now it was finally time to turn it in. Get rid of that damn letter. So after turning it to therapist, you can also turn it in again to prepor. And now all the quests were locked because I was too low level, so I couldn't proceed with the quests. But there was something more important, something more valuable that I could have gotten after solving this quest, after getting level 13, and that was Scav's junk box. Thank you for that junk box, finally. Now I had to quickly stash all the items inside that I was keeping in the vests and all around my inventory so I could get rid of some of that stuff and make some space because I was really running low on the space. So after 
organizing my inventory a little bit. I went into the next raid on customs. So I spawned in the ditch next to the big red and started pushing from the bottom side to check jackets. And there was a player already there. Now I've spotted him. And there's a flying grenade. So he was trying to nade me all this time, so instead of just sitting there, I decided to go for a quick flank. I mean, it was not a quick flank, but still it was a flank. I went all around the garage area and I wanted to pop up again in the corner of the map and perhaps catch him off guard. So I came to the bottom side, I was looking for him, but I couldn't find him anymore. So I was approaching slowly, just to see if he's gonna peek somewhere, if I'm gonna spot him, but unfortunately I couldn't see him anymore. It would have seemed as he had left the action. But, not to worry, the action found me soon enough. Because just as I was going across the wall, I wanted to check if he was maybe in the yard. He wasn't, but there was certainly somebody else there. And that man was just so lucky that Atlin Helmet saved his life. So I waited out to see if he's gonna come. He had to come out somewhere. But I didn't think he had a partner. So now there were two, and they knew where I was shooting from, so I had to change the position immediately. I ran back, tried to flank them, outplay them, but unfortunately they seemed to run away. So after searching around for them a bit more, playing it safe, I couldn't find them, nobody else was there, so I went ahead and extracted from this raid. Now. For this moment I was kind of wandering aim aimlessly looking for PvP fights because I needed to get level 15 in order to proceed further on with the quests. So the only thing logical or the only thing I could have done was just go and full on PvP, look for some good items for money and that's what I did. So I spawned yet again on customs and I went for a quick peek for the other spawn location that's right in that corner. And there was somebody coming towards me. And that dude seemed quite beefy. And that was it. One tap and he was gone. I was hoping he was alone, but judging from what I saw from the start, he was. And boy oh boy, was he beefy or what? So I quickly grabbed all his stuff, a better backpack, his grenades, his rig. And I decided I would have to move off to a more secure location for loot. So after hitting him, looting the small house there, I went across the river. And using his VSS, was slowly pushing towards the exit. A lot of nades flying around. All of a sudden, two fresh kills, squad of two, not bad. 
I went in quickly to pick up all their stuff. At least weapon mods, if I couldn't take everything. So I stripped everything I could, picked up some items. And boy oh boy were they beefy. Made some place for that armor and it was time to hit the let's hit the road just get out so i went on to the long side along the wall and successfully extracted so this raid was quite fun killed a beefy guy at the start then killed a squad of two so yeah my luck was going well in this raid but i still didn't achieve level 15 i would have to grind a bit more so I simply loaded again into customs because the customs is my favorite map because you get the players from low tier to high tier all sorts of players so it's not just beefy guys or just uh, naked guys it's pretty much mixed all up so this raid we spawned again on this side of the map next to big red and it seemed like nobody spawned in the corner I was peeking a little bit to see but there was nobody there. So I went into the blue shack to check out the duffel bag, check out for keys. And good thing I did, because that thermostat is worth a lot of money. So after looting it up, I waited here for just a couple of more seconds, minute or so, to see if somebody's gonna pop from the back side of the map. And I wasn't wrong. Somebody was sneaking. But unfortunately for them, I had Comtex and I heard them approaching. So what I decided to do is wait him out a little bit. And it was just a hatchling. So I went on to check what he had, picked up his dog tag, looted up what I could around this area, went across and found nothing very interesting until the very end where these guys were having it out. So I quickly eliminated one of the guys and it seemed it was a player scav, but he was fighting somebody else. So I knew that there was another scav or a player Somewhere around here, I just had to wait out to see where that player was. And not long after, I spotted him. Two solid shots. Missed the second two, but he was hurt. So I decided to go for a wide flank and look him up. He must be somewhere around that wall hiding. Just as I was pushing up, things got hot. Surprise, motherfucker! And of course, just my luck. I'm scanning for him, searching him, he's not there, and then he pops out of nowhere. So I have absolutely no clue how did he just spawn there immediately. I was looking at the area all the time, but couldn't see him, couldn't find him, and then all of a sudden he was there. Unfortunately, his aim was a bit faster than mine, so that raid ended miserably. But that didn't put my hopes down. I knew I had to get that level 15 to keep on pushing the quests. So again, I took my PMC went into the customs, this time with Vepper Hunter. So I spawned again on the west side of the map, checked for quick runners across the river, nobody was there. And just as I pushed into the construction area, I found somebody's body here. This guy looked quite geared. 
decent AK, good armor. The only problem is he didn't have any rig on him, so... I was in a bit of a pickle. So I looted everything that he had. Picked up my armor just as well to carry it on. And decided to go across from here. Now this guy was killed by a Mosin, so that could have mean that the player is still around here, looking at his body, waiting for someone to come, but after a certain period of time nobody was there, I decided to go ahead. I went across the street and did not expect to have this kind of action that's coming right now. It was all quiet, nothing was happening. Then there was one. Then there were two. Then there was one. That was a suppressed gun. Judging by the sound, it was M4A1. But I was playing it slowly, waiting for them to push me. And that was the second dude. But it would seem that there was a third one as well. A quick push back to reload. And it was time for another flank. I had to find a third guy. And of course, a player scav or a scav entering a building right in front of me. So I gave up my position once again. I decided to hide for a little bit in this bush to see if anybody's going to move. My heart was pounding like crazy. I didn't know where he was. But I was 100% sure there was another player there. He was obviously scared of pushing because his friends were dead, he was the only one left. So he was probably camping somewhere along that wall. So instead of waiting here for too long, I pushed around for the flank again. I wanted to play the ditch that's in between this building and the wall, because it would provide me some sort of a cover, because otherwise it's all open field. So I was slowly approaching, looking for him, but I still couldn't see him, I couldn't find him. I had to take slow approach. And then... That damn tree gave me away. I had to push him hard. And seems like I got this time squad of three. Lucky headshot saved me probably here, but still I outplayed them a little bit and I was so happy with this outcome. I mean the guys were loaded. Just look at this gear. M4A1 fully decked with silencer, M700, backpack full of stuff, um, mostly trash, so I got rid of everything that I didn't need. And I knew that I'd need a lot of lot more space because there was still two bodies to loot, even though I was already full. So after trying to pick up the drum mag that I lost in the grass, 
After some time I just quit looking for it and went on to loot another guy that was positioned a bit open on the field but covered enough for me to lay down. And boy oh boy he had an SVD, a Pestilis mask and also a backpack full of items. A gas gauge, filter, those are all the items that are worth a lot of money. And now there was still third player to loot. And for my surprise, he had another SVD, a good rig, so it was time to decide what to take. So I threw on the ground my Vapor Hunter, picked up SVD, took his rig since it had a bit more space than what I was wearing. I had to leave some items because I was heavy, but regardless of that, I picked up the helmet, I picked up the silencer, everything that was worth some money. So after looting all three of them, I went for the extract carefully. I took a long route again alongside the wall and luckily I extracted successfully. And now I was level 14, but still not enough. I had to push a couple of more raids to get that level 15 and then I would be pursuing the quests further on. Thank you for watching guys and I really do hope you enjoy my episodes of Tarkov, I hope you enjoyed the playthrough, if you have any suggestions, comments, please go ahead, comment down, down in the comment section. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe, share these videos and when you subscribe, hit that notification button so you could have a notification when the next episode comes out. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next episode.